Good morning, folks. Over the last decade, Foxcroft Academy has taken time to recognize our students from all the countries represented in our hallways during our annual flag ceremony. Since 1995, Foxcroft Academy has welcomed over 1,000 boarding students to further their education with us. And in turn, we have become one of the most diverse high school student bodies in the state. Today, students will present their flags to us, and they'll give a fun fact about their country, first in English, and they'll give that same fun fact in their native language. We ask that you give them your undivided attention as they talk proudly about where they come from. Once we are finished, the flags will once again adorn the walls to my left, letting people know that Foxcroft Academy is truly heard from around the world. We want to thank Ms. Hutchinson, and she helped us make sure the flags were ready to present today. So thank you. Let's give Ms. Hutchinson a round of applause. Our first flag ceremony is not a country. We're in the state of Maine, and we present the Maine flag, and doing that today for us are Emma and Aiden. Cambodian flag represents the courage of the nation and the 
blue color represents liberty and the white temple of the Angkor Wat, which is the biggest temple in the world. The white color represents purity with the nation. And one of my fun facts about Cambodia is that birthdays are not commonly celebrated, especially in rural areas. Here it is in my native language. Thank you. Next thing we're presenting our hallway is, in, is China. We're representing them today, Stephen and Roderick. ceremony the most, but I think I'm mistaken because the next person is representing El Salvador, so put your hands together for Senora Henderson. Next country is Hungary, and representing them, and Alex gets kind of get two countries because he's a part German and part Hungarian, so he's representing Hungary right now. Alex, come on up. Kazakhstan and representing Kazakhstan today is Maddie. Hi, I'm Maddie. One fun fact about my country is Kazakhstan is my 
not like this country in the world and the largest country in Central Asia. Uh, and I can say in Russia, Kazakhstan, Zata, Polishna, Sarah, Mir, and Sama Basha, Sarah, Central Asia. Thank you. Hi, my name is Tatiana and I'm from Mexico and a fun fact is that Mexico is one of the oldest cities in America, being founded in 1325 and originally called Tenochtitlan, now for the translated version. México es una de las ciudades más viejas de América y fue fundada en 1325, originalmente llamada Tenochtitlan. Thanks. Next up is the country of Norway. Representing Norway is Ingrid. Steel Pan, Carnival, and Calypso. 
Thank you. Getting towards the end, folks. Uh, next head representative is Uganda, and representing them, Shane and Akram. Hello, everyone. I'm Shane and Akram. Uh, I'll be saying a fun fact about our country. I've been speaking in our language. So, Uganda, known as the part of Africa, is rich in natural beauty and culture. It's a home to the source of Nile. The source of the Nile, the world's longest river. Uh, Uganda also boasts Lake Victoria, Africa's largest lake, and the Mwindi, impenetrable forest famous for endangered mountain gorillas. And a saying in my language, Michigan, Ichigambo cha Bakuru ne ikitangeza muhuriza akahiro noraba obuiza. Meaning of uh, wisdom illuminates the path showing beauty even in the dark. Hi everyone, I'm Akron. I'm also from Uganda and I'll be sharing a fun fact and it's in my language. Um, the country Uganda has more bird species than any other African nation with over 1,000 recorded species. Ugandans love their Rolex, which is not a watch, but it's a pop or street food made from an omelette rolled in chapati, which is like a fried afghan bread. Um, with 40 different languages spoken in Uganda, Uganda has remarkable cultural diversity and its national anthem is one of the, the shortest in the world. And the same in my language, which is in your own, it is, <coughs> sorry, Obutunga Bagwo Gwenge Ni Oguma Obi Iguruzi Kandi Obuganda No Gwenge Bijiro, which means the wealth of wisdom strengthens a nation and Uganda is blessed with it. Thank you. Representative is Vietnam. Speaking about Vietnam, will be Jerry, Victor, and Quang. Good morning, everyone. My name is Victor, and this is Jerry, and we are here to proudly represent the country of Vietnam. One fun fact I bring to you today is Phu Dinh is the most common surname in Vietnam worn by a substantial portion of the population. Its prevalence can be attributed to historical and cultural factors, as many people adopt the surname during the reign of the Nguyen Dynasty from 1802 to 1945. This common surname holds great significance, representing a shared heritage and identity among Vietnamese people. It is a testament to the deep-rooted traditions and sense of unity that bind the diverse tapestry of Vietnam society. The global popularity of the Nguyen surname has led to its becoming a subject of humor, particularly within the overseas Vietnamese community. Hồng Nguyễn là họ phổ biến nhất ở Việt Nam. Với một bộ phận đáng kể dân số mang sự phổ biến của họ này có thể do các yếu tố lịch sử và văn hóa. Vì nhiều người đã lấy họ này trong thời kỳ trị vì của triều đại nhà Nguyễn năm 1802 và 1945. Họ phổ biến này có ý nghĩa to lớn đại diện cho di sản và bản sắc chung của người Việt Nam. Đây là minh chứng cho truyền thống sâu sắc và ý thức đoàn kết, gắn kết bức tranh đa dạng của xã hội Việt Nam. Sự phổ biến toàn cầu của Hồ Nguyễn đã là một chủ đề gây thích thú, đặc biệt là trong cộng đồng người Việt ở nước ngoài. Thank you. Hopefully next week, so when we come into assembly, we'll have a chance to see them.
and it'll not be a white wall any anymore, it'll be adorned with a lot of colors. I don't think you understand how hard it is for these folks to stand up in front of you and talk. First of all, English is not 95% of their first language, and they have to do that in front of you and then come back in their uh, native language as well. So I think they all deserve a round of applause for another round of applause. talking more about these countries as the year goes on.